After a 4-1 Monday, we win again on Tuesday. It's now a 114-87-5 overall run here on the show with the strong 7-3 start to the week. It's all Champions League soccer today, so you've been warned. If you'd like to get my takes on the Major League Baseball playoffs, go ahead. Check out the morning wager with myself and Mark Zinno. Now, smash that like button if you're excited to talk some Champions League. If you're not a regular soccer better, be prepared to learn a thing or two. All right, play number one, Shakhtar Dansk plus half a goal versus Atalanta. These are two sides coming off goalish draws in their respective Champions League openers. Second straight match versus an Italian side in this competition for Shakhtar, who faced Bologna last time out. Now, I know there's no home field advantage here. In case you're wondering, Shakhtar... Uh, they're a Ukrainian club and obviously can't play soccer in Ukraine right now. So this match is taking place in Germany instead. Also, Shakhtar's recent history in the Champions League, not good. Only eight wins in their last 37 UCL matches. But I think they can, at the very least, earn a point with another draw here. Atalanta, who faced Arsenal at home last time out, does not travel particularly well. They struggle away. And they've already conceded a league-high 12 goals in six Serie A matches this season, losing three times. This will be their third match at Atalanta in the last eight days, including the second away. Only one win in their last nine UCL matches overall. No way does the Italian side deserve to be this big of a favorite. So Shakhtar plus half a goal on the spread. Number two, moving to the 3 p.m. slate of fixtures of the Champions League. By the way, Shakhtar, that's a 12.45 Eastern start. But in the 3 p.m. slate, I like Bayern Munich, minus 140 on the three-way line against Aston Villa. Uh, all things considered, even on the road, it's a pretty cheap price on one of the best teams in the world that has outscored its opponents by a stunning 30-5 to margin this season. We need Bayern to win, but considering how Villa let us down over the weekend, failing to defeat lowly Ipswich Town in the Premier League, a win here for Bayern seems pretty likely, in my opinion. The six-time European champions are on an incredible 41-match unbeaten run in the group stage. Now called the league phase uh, of the Champions League. They've won 37 of those 41 matches. Only four draws. In case you missed it, Bayern put nine goals on the board in this season's UCL opener against uh, Dinamo Zagreb. More on them in just a minute. So yeah, pretty strong side. Villa's missing its captain, John McGinn, and the back line seems vulnerable. So play Bayern Munich to win here. Speaking of Dinamo Zagreb, they host Monaco, and I love the over three goals in this one. Again, Dinamo just conceded nine their last time out in the Champions League. Now that was against Bayern Munich, but Monaco is certainly capable of finding the back of the net multiple times on Wednesday because Dinamo just conceded four goals to the last place team in their domestic league over in Croatia. That makes it seven straight matches, conceding at least one goal for them. So real defensive issues for the hosts here. Monaco have looked great thus far in Ligue 1, where they are at the top of the table. And let's not forget, they beat Barcelona 3-2 in their UCL opener. So should be plenty of goals in this one, most of them from the French side over three. Number four, let's do an under. Bologna, Liverpool, under three and a half. As I mentioned earlier, Bologna played to a nil-nil draw with Shakhtar in its UCL opener. The Italian side have not exactly been tearing it up in Serie A either with only one win in six matches, four draws. Just seven goals scored and only nine conceded in those six matches. Now they go against Liverpool, who have conceded only two goals in their six Premier League matches this season. Remember, we had the under in their 1-0 loss to Nottingham Forest a couple weeks ago. The under is a perfect 6-0 so far for Liverpool in EPL matches. Now, the Reds did find the back of the net three times in their UCL opener against AC Milan and conceded once, so that was an over. But I'm expecting a clean sheet here by Liverpool, so you certainly could bet Liverpool win to nil, but I'm going to take under three and a half goals instead. One more to go, and it is a team total. Probably going to have to go to DraftKings to bet this one. RB Leipzig, under one and a half goals against Juventus. I think this is an insane number. Why? Because Juventus have yet to concede a single goal in Serie A this season. In fact, no opponent has created more than 0.5 XG against them. Reminder, XG is expected goals. So the idea of them allowing two goals here sounds a bit shocking to this handicapper. They did concede one. Uh... Juve did in the UCL opener to PSV, but 
That's the only goal they've conceded in any match this season. Yes, Juventus is the away side here, but Leipzig are hardly creating a ton of scoring chances in the Bundesliga this season. Only eight goals scored in five matches. Given Leipzig's own defensive prowess, this figures to be a very low event match, and one goal either way might be enough for victory. If you can't find the team total, maybe just bet this match under. But I like RB Leipzig under one and a half goals team total. Let us now recap the Power Five for Wednesday. I know I threw a lot at you here in the Champions League. Number one, Shakhtar plus half a goal on the Asian handicap. Number two, Bayern Munich minus 140 on the three-way line against Aston Villa. Number three, Dinamo Zagreb and Monaco over three. Number four, Bologna Liverpool under three and a half. And number five, RB Leipzig under one and a half goals team total versus Juventus. Go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on those plays. And if you have any questions at all about betting soccer, I would be more than happy to answer them. Now, if you missed my $5 play on Tuesday, you can still get it at my page, wt.buzz slash bp, albeit now at full price, $25. It's my first NFL side for week five. I am 80%, 8-2, and two, with NFL sides through the first four weeks of the season. And I think you're going to really like this one. It's on the Thursday night game. But before we get to Thursday night football, don't miss my first MLB playoff client release. That is available at my page right now as well. It is a 4% best bet for Wednesday. And if you're looking to get on board for a full week, well, you're in luck. Because right now, you can grab a seven-day all-access pass for only $77. That will give you all of my NFL all of my college football, all of my MLB, and all of my soccer for a full week. No coupon code needed. One more time, wt.buzz slash BP. Of course, if you're not already, make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel as I've not only got you covered with the Power Five, but every Monday through Friday, it is myself and Mark Zeno doing the morning wager. Yes, we will give you a complete breakdown of the Major League Baseball playoffs on Wednesday on that show. Tons of MLB coverage there. You can always expect it. Football this weekend as well. Mark always makes sure it's soccer free. And that's going to do it though for the Wednesday edition of the Power 5. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so. And until next time guys, let's cash some tickets.